Why did this shape break mathematics in 2023? Sounds insane, but for 60 years, the smartest people on earth have been hunting for this specific shape, but why? Look at your floor. Look at your bathroom wall. What do you see? You see squares, you see triangles, you see hexagons, you see a grid. And if you look closely, you'll notice something specific about that grid. It repeats, it always repeats. If I gave you a million tiles, you could exactly predict where the last one would go because it's a pattern, it's safe, it's predictable. But for 60 years, mathematicians have been asking a dangerous question. Is there a shape that breaks the rules? Is there a single shape that you can click together forever, but it never repeats the same pattern? A shape that is ordered, but completely unpredictable. They call this shape the Einstein. Now it's not named after Albert Einstein. It comes from the German words Einstein, meaning one stone, one single stone that creates infinite chaos. Finding this shape became the holy grail of geometry. The smartest people on earth tried to find it. They failed, so they built supercomputers to hunt for it, and they failed. We wrote AI algorithms to imagine it, and those failed, of course. For decades, we thought it was impossible. We thought the Einstein didn't exist. We thought the universe demanded order. And then came David Smith. David's not a professor. He's not a mathematician. He is a retired printing technician from England, and he didn't use a supercomputer. He used a pair of scissors and cardstock on his kitchen table. He cut out paper shapes and started moving them around, searching, testing, until he found this. It's a 13-sided polygon. We call it the hat because it looks like a fedora. David found that if you lock these hats together, they cover the entire table. But no matter how far you go, no matter how many millions of hats you use, the pattern never repeats, never. It's the first true Einstein in history. But there was a catch, a tiny annoying catch. To make the hat work, every once in a while, you'd have to flip a tile over. You'd have to use its mirror image. And to a mathematician, that's not perfect. That's not rigid. So David went back to the cutting board or his kitchen table and he started cutting again, and he found this, the specter. We call it the vampire tile. Do you know why? Well, it's got no reflection. You never have to flip it. You never have to mirror it. You just slide it into place, and it spirals out into infinity, creating a universe that never, ever, ever repeats itself, repeats itself. As the mathematician Doris Shatterschneider said when she saw it, it was hidden in plain sight. Think about that. The answer to a 60-year-old math problem wasn't inside a computer. It was inside a piece of paper waiting for someone to cut it out.